Hello there YouTubes or YouTubers. So same setup. Still got my uh, testing 11 plates with uh, distilled water and uh, baking soda. I think I had uh, 20 or 30 uh, tablespoon. This one is going there. And it's going underneath here. So this one is acting as a bubbler. After that, uh, the big wire is going all the way there through my flashback arrestor. Tiny piece here. And uh, this is going to be my torch. I'm going to give that a try. It's a very tiny hole there. You can get that. I got that at Canadian Tire, but you can get that maybe, probably anywhere on eBay or whatnot. And I put some glue there. Make sure that there was no uh, nothing like this one there. Same thing here. It's all. Uh, do there with uh, epoxy I think or something like that make sure that it's not gonna do any water or any pressure loss uh, on both sides so I'm gonna try that out and see what happened take probably a root beer can and uh, or whatever I got there from my old uh, solar heater so we'll see Alright, so there is a production there, bubbling up. Seems like it's going through. Alright, I'm going to put the camera here on an angle. See what I'm gonna do. There we go. And uh, this is my torch tip, which I'm gonna hold down. So the pressure is gonna build up. More like here, maybe, so you can see at the same time the bubble. Right. So we got a torch. I don't know if you can see properly here. There we go. So let's get a hole there. Not the production is not as much I would as I would like it to be. I'm gonna try that again. So the more it runs, the bigger the flame gets. Pretty hard to say there is you can see it move there going up and down as the bubble come in. What you see is like that. There, I see a bubble come in, and you see it go. So the flame is going up and down all the time with the bubbles. So I tried that out. I said I was going to try to make something happen at least.
can actually see it getting red right now. Tip is now red. I'm gonna put the torch away very quick there so you can see it turn red. So at one point, uh, two point something liters per minute, almost three. It's red, red. Okay. I get tired of this. All right. Seems like uh, now the flame is a little bit bigger. As the more you wait, the more it produce. We're gonna be able to pierce a hole. So that's what it does when you got a flashback arrestor. You don't blow up everything. Which is great. After that, you just light it up again. Might surprise you more than anything else now. Trying to draw H for HHO. There we go. And this is a can of HHO. You can see it's burning wood too very easily. There we go. I got something else for you guys. There we go. This is going to be very interesting to some of you. So I'm keeping it as close as possible there, but not too close. Can you see it go red? There we go. Bright red. What I did there, I put my flashback arrestor quite close, so I didn't have to wait too long before the hydrogen come back which is a great thing who wants to wait long sound that you're hearing there and then the hydrogen trying to stop from the flashback arrestor here that's the sound that it's making when the flashback arrestor is almost done means that the flashback arrestor is almost done and uh, once it's going to be done it's going to be useless won't be much to do with it after either way that's what it is you saw the work you saw it's working that's about it for today have a good one